live from the southwest corner near Austin, where Australian rappers say, I went to the store. It's going to be a great night. Now, celebrate that Delta 8 is still legal again because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young. Oh, shit. Uh, that started off as a bit, and then it was not a bit. And then it was us just becoming dizzy together. Uh, hey. Hey, what's going on? You tweeted out a new uh, bit of information that I didn't, or it's, I suppose I knew. I was there. But yeah. um, uh, is it really less than one year since we premiered World's Greatest Con? It is less than one year. Yeah, we are coming up on the first anniversary of the launch of World's Greatest Con, but thanks to the support of everybody listening and many, many more, uh, we already crossed a major threshold, one million downloads on that podcast. Ah! Yeah. That's a lot. Wow. Yeah. That is it's a lot. lot. Like, it's a lot of downloads. Uh, uh, my comedy instincts got shut down because my honesty instincts wanted to be very, <laughs> very excited. But then I realized, where's the joke in that? I just am very excited. Uh, yeah. So I, I, I tweeted, yeah, uh, the first trailer, not even the first episode, the first trailer for World's Greatest Con dropped on June 7th, uh, 2021. In that intervening time, no network, no press. We got to a million downloads uh and only on nine scripted episodes so it's like that we have it's not like we had an episode every week or anything like that it was nine scripted and then a few trailers and and q a episodes around that uh this is me put my shields up to make sure i don't say anything about i anything. will literally punch you i, I will understand. break your nose here i know you if will you say literally <laughs> anything i know you will yeah we are, we are I know back you on full state yep. secret uh, uh full pucker full pucker yeah, people yeah. people pucker stations just, go just just this know, is not a drill there is more to come there is more to come and that is all we can say mm. hey bryce hi could do you have something unrelated to world's greatest con that we could talk about <laughs> Be real. We like be real. So I, this started on the uh, a green room uh, uh, several weeks ago. Bryce, you, you were the one who brought be real to us, largely because it had become a meme because it was breaking up tween friendships. <laughs> yeah, that, that was the story that I saw on BuzzFeed. This new social media app is breaking up millennial friendships because they're finding out they're hanging out with other people without each other. Uh, wait, is it, wait, he's bringing up Gen Z or millennial friendships? Because because millennial friendships are my friends. Yeah, uh, and, uh, and I, I am not shocked that they're not hanging out with me because I don't want to hang out with them either. Uh, yeah, millennials have kids now, right? Wh whoever the young people, I don't know. The the I think it's the Gen it's Gen Z. Yeah, I don't no, know. Gen How Z we is gonna hate them if we don't have their names, Bryce? Yeah, <laughs> Gen, Gen Z is when you really really care that your friends are hanging out and you're not hanging out with them. So there's a there's a, so we got on this Be Real app, which is a social network where you uh, once a day are allowed to post one photo, uh, and it 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 randomly assigns the time when you can do that. So yeah, uh, it gives you a two minute period. Do, yeah. do we believe it's point, entirely random? Oh, like that they've selected interesting times during. The I mean, day? do you think there's like Ted Be Real who's just like, no, we did two o'clock. Last week, I think that there is some quality control because it's not showing up at one o'clock in the morning, right? Like it is all. There was an eight thirty a.m. one the other day, and then there was like an eleven. I got to see everybody's one. bed. Everybody's <laughs> bed. Yeah, I, mean, I think I was shirtless. <laughs> oh, uh, but it's it's fun because if you don't want to be on social media, then you just don't have to post because you don't have to yeah. post or you don't have to you don't have to post unless you want to see other people's stuff. So you can just not. But also, it gives you a sense. So, like today, uh, I had been talking with Tom about the fact that BTS, because he is a a K-pop influencer, Tom Merritt, uh, that BTS was going to be at the White House, and so it just so happened that the Be Real thing happened while BTS was at the White House, and so that's I, what that meant. So I so I took a picture and I held up a sign because it takes uh, uh, both your front camera and your and your your selfie camera. Uh, and I just held up a sign that said, hi, Tom, because I knew we were watching the same thing. Oh, 
uh, yeah. Well, I, I I just figured that Tom was one of like seven other people who are following. Or uh, as far as I know, it's a social network for seven people. Uh, it's 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 everyone in this room. Yeah. And Open Bayou and OMG <laughs> Chad and yep. Walt Disney. Cheeto. And, yeah. And yeah. And Walt Disney. Oh yeah. Shannon Disney. Morris is on there now. Morris Rebecca on. Watson's on there now. So oh, there's, 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 there's some there's some there's some on gang, there. gangs. Yeah. Yeah. It's great. It does make me reconsider my username. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you you definitely you definitely uh, thought this was going to be a frivolous peach situation, and therefore gave yourself the iconic username because because on Twitter you're Schwood. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, on Instagram, what are you? Uh, Scam School Brian. Okay, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yep, yep, yep. yep. uh, uh, well, on Facebook, I assume you're Brian Brushwood. Yep, yep, yep. Right. Yep. On, on TikTok, you TikTok? use TikTok, Modern right? Rogue sometimes. Modern Rogue, yeah. Modern Rogue, yeah. yeah. So on Be Real, you are oh, well. Uh, somebody in the room. I forget who recommended I name myself Mr. 911. <laughs> oh, that sounds ridiculous. You and should have that person right in the face and said, absolutely not. I will not. I have a brand uh, to, to, to keep up, and I'm trying to I'm trying to stay current with emerging audiences. So so uh, after you summarily snap that out, uh, 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 what did you really name yourself? Mr. 911. <laughs> Oh man! man. Oh, well, uh, Brian, don't get too down about it. <laughs> <laughs> My God, unbelievable! Did you just do the number two and then point it down. No, wow, I'll yeah. never did that. Be tacky. Uh, that would but, be. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, you forget building seven. I dig. I, 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 I'm Mr. 911. <laughs> uh, no, uh, uh, but I found myself on uh, uh, doing the show Fake in the Nation where uh, it was it was brand new to them. And I was like, oh, shit, dude, I've been doing this for three weeks. It's great because I realized it's almost like a therapy session disguised as a social network where it's like uh, at some random point in the day, you're going to have to pause and consider your life choices, <laughs> like whether it's am, where am you I, are right I now happy or sad. About this moment that I am in right now. Am I comfortable showing the world or seven whole people yeah. what I'm up to, where I am, uh, well, yeah, how I'm dressed or whatever? And uh, 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 to be honest, when <laughs> you were holding up a sign that said, hi, Tom, but I thought, oh, that's clever. I can always just hide my face. <laughs> <laughs> do you that. didn't think because you could like cover up the just your lens. Uh, that's two ways. That's yeah. two, <laughs> or just that's not, two. Yeah, it's two going down. That's, yeah, but building seven. Is that, is, that, is that what you're worried? Is that what you're worried about? You're worried about about your face? No, I. You don't have any visible scars or tattoos. No, but what I do have is like, for example, most of the time during the day, uh, I, I, I'm going to be at my desk, right? And there, yeah, like there was one time that I t- I took a photo and then I saw like the corner of some bills in this corner and i was like mm. eh. like there's all kinds of doxing implications or whatever yes uh and also and there are there are a lot of our friends that are sitting at desks when the be real happens yes and there's a lot of desktops and and mm-hmm. faces and here's the other uh, uh rat bastard aspect of it is that there are certain angles that look good on a front-facing camera uh, that don't happen to point towards anything other than the sun. Yes. <laughs> and so so if you're going to take a picture of something interesting, it's probably you and your second and third chins. Yeah. <laughs> <It's>, I'm not saying <laughs> uh, that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, it, but, but it is about mm-hmm. vulnerability. It, it is, is about, about that moment of is, quiet like, reflection and how much of this can eventually become black blackmail. That's wow. that's a wait. Hold on, and you're for this then? <laughs> like, I, like you were? There's a simmering element behind your eyes that's well, like if my, I can, my entire life is going to be uh, collapsed on this. Well, uh, it, the yeah. nice thing about be real is that there is no like you go to your profile. There's no timeline. Like you can't just go and see any of my old. You don't see any of my old. There posts. is no FOMO because if you missed it, you never know you missed it. it. Yeah, you, there's no looking back and seeing what I posted yesterday. You needed to see it yesterday. Oh, so it's a little Snapchatty like that? A little bit, but like it'll save your memories for you. It's 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 kind of cagey because it's like, hey, you should control, and we won't post anything, but we're definitely keeping it here for you. Well, who made this? Is this the thing I'm going to find out that I've been uh, geolocating for the Chinese? Yep. 
This is Vladimir P. <laughs> oh, damn it. Uh, God damn. It's like Pokemon damn it. Go. You've been, uh, you've been uh, like, all of a sudden, all of you are showing up to forest fires to catch <laughs> various Pokemon. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Unrelatedly, all of it shows up as footage for CNN. Uh, that is, like, there's, like, a dark secret to all these, right? Remember the one where they were, like, uh, uh, everybody was making themselves old? And like posting it, and then yeah. it's like, oh, this is literally just a Kremlin operation right. for like, like all right, all right. hey, in order to make it look really good, do me a favor, slow pan left and right. Let us get every crack, crevice, and uh, fully skinned. Oh, you have a funny mustache. Thanks. Exactly, right? <laughs> uh, uh, everybody, do the tax return challenge. Also, make sure to download all of your contacts using this easy <laughs> oh. button. You got a badge. Let us know of all your dogs, uh, your dead dogs' names, just for no reason. Just for no reason. That's actually just one weird dude. There's <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll get them all. Scrap. I'll get all the dead oh, dogs' names. So, so how long do you give uh, Be Real as this, an this institution? Is, that, 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 that's what Ted Kaczynski channeled all of his other rage into. Uh, <laughs> it's just finding out everybody's dead dogs' names. Can I confess something I read this week? Shoot, yes, you can. Uh, the Manifesto of the Unabomber, Ted Kaczynski. Did you? Yep. Uh, specifically, I read a 15-minute summary synopsis of it on the Love Your Work podcast. Oh, my God. I, I, I was, I was going to think that you read it because I talked about it on my podcast, but that's yep. fine. Thank you for not listening to it. Uh, I listened to it. Uh, he did. He yes, did. did. And we did. Why we were about you Manifesto. dating him? <laughs> <laughs> I go, why were you talking about him on the podcast? Uh, because we had a dude on talking about manifestos uh, in, in relation to the stuff that happened in Buffalo. And the guy who has uh, since written a book about ISIS. Oh, we're hitting all the comedy topics. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, buckle up your laugh belts <laughs> yeah. because uh, we are we are Get getting ready. into the high comedy. <laughs> uh, uh, so yeah, he's, he's written a book about ISIS. And so he was just talking about the value of and lack of value in manifestos in general, specifically when we're talking about censoring them. And what? so he said that he first became fascinated by them because he, uh, there was a big thing about Ted, uh, Ted Kaczynski threatening as the Unabomber to publish it. Right. A and like the government was like, sure, publish it. And if he says he'll stop bombing people. Uh, and then he read it as a kid thinking that it was like, this is the most dangerous document in the world. And you're like, Oh, this shit is boring, and he's yes. a bad writer. Yeah. <laughs> well, and, and specifically, if I remember correctly, uh, the details were he wanted his manifesto published or he would bomb again. And uh, the uh, uh, it was like, I don't know, New York Times, Wall Street Journal or whatever. They were like, uh, government, what do we do here? And they were like, well, if you publish it, that might help us, I don't know, catch the weirdo doing this. And that's exactly what happened yeah. because there was enough like details and language that, that he had been talking about. Have you heard of this new social network? I manifesto <laughs> <laughs> nothing but hot man on man. Action. <laughs> <laughs> and you should see the festo. your manifest destiny involves these rock hard <laughs> bedrock principles. <laughs> Price next topic. Brian hates Top Gun. <laughs> so much I watched it twice. Why did you watch it you twice? You saw it again? Yeah, you were the second time. Oh, I was the second time. Yeah. Oh, you'd already hated it by the time you walked into the theater. Uh, I was unconvinced the first time. Look, uh, but then, but then I watched it with you, and I was like, yeah, this movie is very boring for forty minutes straight. I did not think it was that boring. Great opening. Great opening. Yeah. Great ending. Yeah. 40 full minutes of nothing but like, I'm a guy you can forget in five minutes, but I also think I'm cool. None of y'all are cool as Pete Maverick. I don't know, man. I, I thought it was, I thought, I thought he was, I liked Pete Maverick. Uh, yes, you're designed to because quite literally the worst thing he does <laughs> is keep a secret from Rooster, yeah, and says, spoilers for Top Gun Maverick. I oh, would rather wow. him be mad at me than at his mom. Everything, like literally, dudes flying around in a plane. Opening scene, somebody unironically, breathlessly says, "He's the fastest man alive." Oh lord, <laughs> he's like, he's I just had, I had, everything. I had a I had a big problem with the movie. What was your big problem with the movie? So we watched the first Top Gun. And, uh, you know, there's that scene in the first Top Gun where they're playing volleyball. volleyball. Yeah. 
Yeah. Beach volleyball. Beach volleyball. It's about oh, the beach. Just I fucking boiled up fucking men. That's right. Just sweating. Mm. And this is a movie? Slapping each other. And <laughs> I mean, like, technically. It's the part of a yeah, movie. Yeah. And like, and, and uh, 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 Tom Cruise is like, you've never seen someone check the time while also like flexing their core That's so right. hard it might Boiled. actually like rupture his asshole That's right. with like how hard he's fucking flexing his abs. Uh, and they got another scene in this movie because everything kind of echoes from, sure. from the first movie. Sure. There's like a lot of analog characters and plot points. <laughs> and so they have, of course, at, at a certain point, it's like the beach. Mm -hmm. And you're like, oh shit, here it comes it's again. It's happening. And you see fucking oiled up dude and he's they're, they're playing football this time instead of in fact it's so it's so extreme they're playing two football football they're playing Whoa. nonsense what? football nonsense uh, football like like you actually like i'm sorry what <laughs> yeah i have no idea how the game is played or what's happening but it's not like pick up they're not like just Two footballs. Like, have right you not seen it yet? Bro? No. Size. Oh my god. Okay. The opening scene is like like a get ready for uh, the, the waves, beach, sand. It starts with the volleyball. No, Two. no, no, no. That was in the first movie. One volleyball football the first goes movie. down okay. in a hut position. The other football goes in a hut position. Two balls. Somebody. Yes. yes yeah. Two balls. They both hike and then everyone just runs and around. Then everyone's and running around. And there's all these dudes and it's glistening. And it's just as homoerotic as the first one. Oh. Okay. And then. The lady shows up. Uh, and look, I'm not here to complain about women in, in action movies. Come on, lady. I'm just saying that when there's an iconic homoerotic scene, and then they do another homoerotic scene, keep the ladies out of it. Get for out of it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't want to be a curmudgeon or a misogynist. <laughs> no. But ladies, <laughs> take a seat when we're trying to watch a bunch of oiled up men's slapping each other on the ass while playing some frivolic games on the beach. I will definitely uh, uh, back your play that that uh, had way less homoerotic tension than the first movie. But this one objectively made more money, so... Maybe the sex scenes had to be better, right? First sex don't, scene. Don't act like you didn't but, love that. That's actually but, your favorite part uh, of the movie. Which, uh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> uh, let me describe the hottest sex scene in Top Gun no, Maverick. Stop it. No, no, yes. uh, uh, no, yes. no, 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 no. Yes. Can you possibly no, give me, be hot? Give me, saving give me us your from. review that you gave me in the theater. That's a better. That's better than making fun of it. I. Do you remember it? Uh, I, I, I probably said I probably was repeating what I said to Bonnie the first time. What okay. was it? Which was Top Gun Maverick, and I will now give my 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 testimonial here from Brian Brushwood as Brian <laughs> Brushwood spokesman. Top Gun Maverick has the most realistic over 50 sex scene <laughs> <laughs> ever shot and distributed in mainstream cinema. Right, now I've got to watch it. It, okay. involves, it involves two people very slowly laying down on a bed. <laughs> Like mostly talking. <laughs> okay. And then being worried that somebody else is going to come in the room. <laughs> <laughs> this is and my then, life. And then, for no apparent reason, only Tom Cruise is shirtless. <laughs> yeah. Wait. <laughs> What he is fully also. clothed. Yes. <laughs> and then the whole nobody... time? <laughs> Dude, no, well, there's no, there's it's no four thrusting. seconds long. There's no man. thrusting. It's like if they lay down on the bed, slow fade, and they're like, what do you think about Emily? <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then, do, do. Mom, at home, it's me, Emily. <laughs> uh, the reason they didn't use Berlin's Take My Breath Away is because. The time it took for me to say that sentence was longer than the sex scene. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But again, I, I, I liked it. I liked it more when you Good pointed guy. that Great out. Great guy. Best guy. Best guy. You're, wait, so that's your problem is that they over glorified Maverick in the movie Top Gun Maverick? Maverick. Uh, 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 well, you know what? You're right. Maybe my problem kind of bleeds out into how they're. Now that I think about it, it is kind of weird. Because the plot of the whole movie was a bunch of young actors yeah. had oh to get God. into real life F whatevers and all look like they're about to lose their lunch. Whereas Tom Cruise was awesome the entire time, right? That was the movie, right? Uh, yes. It's also every media appearance he's done since the movie where he says, James Gordon, why don't you get into a 
fucking F something and you could be losing lunch and I'll be awesome. awesome. Yes. Yeah. Is this a surprise? Have you not like <laughs> been aware of Tom Cruise? It, 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 look, it's not a surprise when broccoli tastes like broccoli. That don't mean that broccoli is my so favorite ice cream. you are not a Tom Cruise guy. Uh, you don't like Tom Cruise. Well, I would never say that in a place where Scientology could find me. <laughs> Fries next topic! <laughs> Pride hair. <laughs> this is yeah, not about it. me and my haircut. Uh, well, uh, uh, well I, first of all, come on, Bryce. If it is, you could say so. Take some, what's the word? Pride. There we go. Would have been glad I could help. Would have been better if people laughed instead. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys know um, lions. Yeah. Wait, uh, the animal? Yeah. Like, 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 like the city why, in France. Like, yeah, like, 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 why the fuck oh, you? Uh, uh, why you always the club? Why you always? No, uh, 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 the animal. Song, a, gr a group of lions why is called a pride. You lying? Yeah, you always lying. You always acted like I don't know that song. How does the rest go? Uh, well, then that's when they come in <laughs> with like the rap feature. Yeah, of course. <laughs> and he's right. like, lion bitch, <laughs> lion bitch. Everyone hates such a lion bitch. And then it goes back to the song. That's the feature. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole feature. The wow. whole feature. I mean, it's just lying, bitch. Lying, bitch. Why the fuck you lying, bitch? He says, uh, you're like that game in Top Gun Maverick where nobody knows how to play. <laughs> you're lying, bitch. <laughs> oh, um, okay. Okay. I think the point is that he doesn't rhyme. That's no. how you know he's angry. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes? Yeah. Uh, lions. Character so work. lions, they normally look something like this, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, the animal of the lion. So this is, this is a majestic <laughs> lion on the Serengeti uh, with a, a, a majestic mane. Yeah. Well, then they're known for their manes, aren't they? Yes. Yes? Yeah. What, Not their alts. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, a, a lion. Let me see if I can get the uh, the exact location. A but a, a, a lion in in China uh, has a new hairstyle. Yeah, got a new hairstyle. I'd like to show it to you right now, gentlemen. <laughs> oh my oh, god, god. <laughs> this dude looks like a bee gee. Uh, <laughs> he's he, got he, he, look, he looks like um, uh, is it Arlo Guthrie? Who am I thinking of? Uh, 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 I don't know. <laughs> he's got, he's got, yeah, a bit like, like, all right. So if you had a Beatles haircut, yeah. but then like it kept going in the back. So like a, a Beatles haircut with a mullet. Mm, it that's... really, it really looks like a lion who's all of the interesting features have been like blended away. Wait, uh, yeah, wait, hold it's, on. It's, it's as though, it's as though it's somebody said. It's a Mo said... Howard. It's a Mo Howard. <laughs> Lion haircut and the and the uh, the female is just not having it. He uh, kind of looks like a Japanese wrestler, uh, uh, yeah? uh, Tatsuya Naito. Oh, I thought you, you just, just in uh, general. Uh, uh, I was Bryce, gonna... Bryce, look up Naito. N a i t o. He uh, kind of has the, that. Well, that while Bryce is looking look. that up, to to me, it feels like the Lions manager had like this wild, bold direction and yeah. says, "You know what? Ain't nobody ever seen." A lion that looked ashamed of himself. Looked, <laughs> and then they went to the hairstylist. He does, and they look, said, he does look very ashamed of himself. I ain't himself. never seen he a lion ashamed sad. of himself. It, it looks like a lion that's had a little work done. Ooh, this is Spinal Tap. It does have that look. That, it yeah. does. Have, he has a little, there yeah, yeah, yeah and Nigel Tufnell. Yeah, there's there's a, 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 a Naito shot for any of the New Japan fans in the house. Wow. Well, what's uh, controversial about this? Uh, uh, Was he no, on Be Real? <laughs> well, no. He didn't like Tom Cruise either. <laughs> uh, uh, wait, uh, uh, Bryce, where, where'd you say this lion is? Well, I believe this is in uh, 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 Guangzhou Zoo in China. This is a, a captive lion. Uh, Fauci to blame for this one too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, they, I don't know. What has this lion so captivated? <laughs> the people who put him <laughs> oh there. the people with guns <laughs> yeah Chinese put him in the, the, I think do you, the think, do you think that that's, that's all, shameful lion look at him he is upset. very not happy wait, wait, where where did you find this Bryce uh, on Twitter or somewhere I just found lion people are this is that is a lion sad. that can't this do anything sad right. Lion. Where's Peter when you need him? You know what that he's, lion said. Does Peter have a fashion oh, police? He's even frowning in the left hand oh, one. Right. She won't even look at him. <laughs> what did he do? Oh, I, okay. I've got a little bit of news here. Uh, a spokesperson for the zoo came forward and said that the fringe was simply the result of the lion grooming itself 
like how a cat would like lick its paws. Get that sure. shit the fuck out of here. No. Uh-uh. No, I've I don't really know. I've been, I've, been, I've been on Twitter too, and I hear that groomers are a real problem. <laughs> Did, you know what? You know, <laughs> you know what that lion's thinking right there? With that picture God, right don't, there. Don't, don't, don't pity laugh me. All right. Yeah. All right, all right you right. know what that lion's thinking right there? What? Eh, it's a living. <laughs> I don't know that. I No, I think he's looking for a shotgun. Oh, <laughs> that, oh. that, that is a wow. That line is done. That line is done. Apparently, uh, 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 users of the social media site Weibo had said that the line did not look like this a few weeks ago. And um, they don't belong, they don't buy that story. That's an that the cat line. No, this is, that's no, a no, 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 no. ass lion. They, no, yeah, this, they, you know what this, this is? This is a lion that needs to legally separate itself from its father who has complete <laughs> financial control. That's right. Yes. That's why it's doing drastic things. That, like getting lion, this that lion is going to be posting titty pics on Instagram <laughs> within a week. That lion needs to be emancipated. That's <laughs> the, what's yes. happening. Emancipate the ugly Hashtag lion. free that lion. <laughs> Uh, Bryce, we have uh, another topic. <laughs> Neighborly bets. So, I live next door to Darren Kitchen. Yep. Uh, and I have a wife, and he has a girlfriend, and we both have pool tables. Not pool trust tables. him. Uh, 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 foosball tables. Do, do, do you allow his Wi-Fi to touch your Wi-Fi? I I, <laughs> I, I I do not have a choice. Uh, uh, when you live next door to Darren Kitchen, you just kind of assume he has your stereo number. Yeah. Like, uh, so uh, at a certain point, we all started getting competitive playing foosball. Yeah. Because I'm fucking really good, and everybody else is, you know, getting better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. You know what's weird is that doesn't sound competitive at all. No. It sounds like you're some kind of maverick. <laughs> That you're just awful. I am the maverick of our <laughs> of our everyone else is like garbage. I, I mean that that is actually true. Okay, all Maybe right. This is why I Maybe this is why you like the movie. the movie. I like the movie. It's like what a great movie about an <laughs> obvious hero. You're like, is this a documentary? This is a really is this about me and foosball? Because like I'm also going to be this great and fucking this much when I'm 50 because of my skills. Uh, so we have decided that uh, uh, in playing doubles that every once in a while there can be a little friendly wager yeah and the wager has been taking out each other's trash because we literally live next door to each other you got to drag the bins to the side and so on monday nights if if you have lost the game then usually either me or darren have to drag the uh uh drag the trash cans to the street uh what well, you and I have been known to wager. Yes. Uh, usually a dollar at a time yep. in coins. We have yep. little coin bags and, yep. and we, we make dollar wagers. And the fun thing about that is that we have no idea who's ahead or who's behind. Who's behind. Yeah. Because uh, uh, one dollar coin at a time, neither of us really cares. Sure. Seems to me like at some point, one party or the other would resent being told to take out the garbage, especially if maybe somebody forgot to do it in time. Then all of a sudden you're knocking on Darren's door saying, Hey, <laughs> I mean, not for nothing. I thought we, I mean, they just left, but, uh, so you are warning about, about, uh, pitfalls that we have yet to get to. Cause so far everything has been. So right now you're setting. riding high. Well, not fucking today because on Friday I got, Ryan, a little drunk. What? I got a little drunk. What? Got a little drunk. So you became extra good at foosball. Well, because I was if Maverick. For, I was gets for drunk. Most of he the night. only kills more of the enemy. <laughs> yes. Whoever the enemy is, they literally never say it. They never say who the fucking enemy is. Might as well. Be. It was Cobra. It was Cobra. <laughs> uh, so I, I I went out for a walk. I go for a long walk on on Fridays, and I usually drink during the walk. Uh, and then I came back, and I was. Drink yeah, just Dude, a little bit more. Pa pause real quick on, yeah. on the drink during the walk thing. Yeah, I know, I know you always have in your back pocket Florida man insurance. Yeah, it's a, the, the, the card where you're like, sorry, officer, I didn't know I could yeah. do that. Yeah, how much? I mean, it's just you, me, the yeah. internet, Scientology mm -hmm. listening. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, how much of you kind of hopes you'll get stopped for you know walking around with an open container in the middle of Austin? Hopes. Uh, just gonna is like, there a number 
beyond 100%. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. No, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, like, like, in, all, in all seriousness, it would be fascinating. I mean, you like, know for, it's on, like... On, on a lot of levels, for a cop to freelance, like coming off the street or sitting in a parking lot while I'm walking past. Right. And, and ask me questions considering that like Austin's got a fairly sizable homelessness situation for sure. where uh, things are happening, where people are actually calling the police where like, I'm just very peacefully, very sweatily in these modern sweltering days, uh, uh, just making my way down Lamar, <laughs> making my way back through. Also, I'm smoking a cigar while it's happening. So like I, I, I present a very weird, like who wants to write an open container <laughs> ticket to somebody who's actively smoking a cigar? If I got approached you by a what? cop, I would I continue to smoke the cigar? There's a lot of questions. That cigar move may be the best part of your camouflage <laughs> because it's like, <laughs> if I'm going to approach somebody and cause trouble, and they're smoking a cigar. I'm gonna think, why is he smoking that cigar? Why is this? Why man, does why is this, this man person... sweating like a hooker in church, <laughs> drinking a, a a Lone Star while smoking a cigar? Uh, yeah. That right. being said, everyone start the clock because it's gonna happen. I just you think know. so? Oh yeah, it's gonna happen. I've had a lot of cops drive by me. I've walked in front of gonna a happen. lot of cops. It's gonna happen. I ain't never seen it. That's why it's going to happen. Well, okay. I, I, so I the moment, I, but, but I, the good news is, I don't think that people write open container tickets unless somebody's causing trouble. True that. If somebody called, if somebody like called the cops on me, God knows, like they walked me walk by their business. It's like police, we need an urgent uh, patrol <laughs> guy guy with a cigar yeah. out there. Then and maybe, I think he might like, be if, drunk. if somebody did did say that, or if I was stumbling or or or, or, or causing a problem with somebody, right. then I think I would be opening myself up more than the average bear. No, to, uh, to me, in my vision, the most hostile you would get is the annoyance of pulling out one of your earbuds to say yes, what <laughs> to the officer. <laughs> Hold on, wait a minute. Ben Franklin says public consumption is legal in most of Austin. What? Oh, wait, mm. on the street? On the... On the mm. Is that... I ben Franklin, Ben Franklin, uh, who helped wrote the found Constitution. America. He wrote the Constitution. He's on the $100 bill, yeah, He's saying it's he legal in my bass. neighborhood. Fair enough. Fair enough. Ask the framers. Uh, I, I have to imagine that the moment you see the lights, you're thinking like, well, that's one less segment we have to write this week. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I went walking in 100 degree weather uh, uh, and then came back and then decided to drink more and uh, then eventually got hit with the challenge of, all right, like trash game. And I had been whipping everybody's ass and I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yeah. And then I fucking lost. It was the first time in, I think the five games that we had played that uh, I, I had lost. And so now a new internal rule, no more trashed games when already trashed. Well, see here, this is the difference between you and Maverick, because Maverick would have won that game. <laughs> it's true. Maverick fucking would have. Maverick would have. Uh, you want to know what else Maverick would have done? Uh, you know what? Let's count to five and then never mention that movie or property or actor while we talk about what's next. Okay, so you just don't want me to do the segue. Patreon.com slash great night. You can give us money. Just a little breathing room between the derailer. Us. The, the <laughs> derailer returns. Nobody, <laughs> nobody has the power. I mean, let's just say derailer. I don't want to get audited. <laughs> <laughs> totally fine. Tell us up your crimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, dude. Uh, what, what, what would happen if somebody were to go to patreon.com slash great night? Patreon.com slash great night is where you can, uh, number one, support the show, and number two, get great bonus content. And boy, do we have a bonus episode for you on Thursday because you've heard the three of us on land yes. here on the property. <laughs> you've heard, heard us, us in the air. Uh huh. Those well, are we... two things we have in common with Maverick. <laughs> 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 But one place you, you can't even let me do my segue. <laughs> oh, I didn't you know. Immediately so, come back. I I'd right, be okay with you derailing the segue if you <laughs> also <laughs> stayed away from it. But okay. you couldn't even stay away from it. <sighs> but you've never heard the Thursday Bones episode on 
the high seas. Ooh. Ooh. I wonder if we'll have a special guest show up when we're on a boat. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> you never know. You never know. Uh, it could uh, be two guests. It could be two guests. You don't know. It could be a lot of guests. Be a lot I don't of know if I can be there yet, but if I oh, okay, oh, now I understand. Okay, I, this, all right. Just, we're just trying to make it about me. I didn't understand because I thought you already said no. <laughs> no, I said I don't know. Wow. But where where could people go and hear such a recording, Justin? Uh, well, patreoncom slash great night is where you need to go. Go ahead and pledge right now. You're going to get your secret RSS feed that you can add to the podcatcher that you are listening to us on right now. And when that happens, you don't need to sign in. Ain't a login. Don't need to remember no passwords no more. It just shows up right there, including this Thursday's episode, which will be recorded and possibly published <laughs> on a ship. De- definitely recorded. We'll see about uh, posted. Um, uh, yeah, dude. Uh, uh, up to, and Bryce, I know you don't want me to get this wrong. Uh, as mean. many as 37 extra episodes <laughs> per week. Sir, that statement is certainly correct. That's <laughs> okay, up good. To, up to. But at yeah. least at l- four. Well, at least w- one a week. At oh, le- yeah. I mean, are we talking four, about four, up to or at least? Yeah, no, I screwed it up. I screwed up my own bit. You, you, you get bonus stuff. It's great. It's great. We love it. Patreon.com. Slash great night. Yep. You got a game? I do have a game. Hello, everybody. Uh, I'm going to need Brett's help for this one, Brett. Are you... Hold on. Yes, okay. Jesus uh, Christ. I'm just going to need Brett's help for this a little bit. But yeah. we're going to, we're bringing back a classic game. It's our favorite game of all time. It's the Startup Spelling Bee. Uh, so I went on. That, by the way, is more applause than any real spelling bee has received. <laughs> Uh, the uh, we I've gone to uh, Angel List, Angel List, the uh, the website all about startups and uh, 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 technology, and pulled some crazy ass com- company names, and I'd like you to be able to spell them for me. So we're gonna give you the startup spelling bee. Remember how this game goes? It's fun and easy. Uh, so I'm gonna give or Brett is gonna give you the name of a company, and yes. uh, you'll be able to ask for information like how many employees there are, how much money they've raised, where they're located, or maybe a little bit about what they do. Mm. Um, and then you're going to have to spell correctly uh, all of the name the name that is given to you. I'm gonna give you a little bit of a hint. All of the names today do not have any spaces. Okay, okay. No they're, all, spaces. they're all one word or, or combined words without spaces. There's not a space. Correct. Uh, and, and and it's what, 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 what's it called when the two words are one word? Uh, uh, a homophone. Compound. No, <laughs> like like a like a oh portmanteau. That's what I'm thinking of. Oh uh, yeah. Uh yeah, yeah. I was thinking of conjoined. <laughs> Conjoined, but that's conjoined the, that's words. Me. Yeah, come behold, two words have yeah. become one. <laughs> exactly. Somebody call Ben Carson. All right, so uh, Brett, we're just going to go down the list here. Can uh, can I have you read off the first word for? Yes. Uh, and we're going to start with Brian on this one. Ready? Uh, and I'll keep score, Brett. Don't worry about it. Okay, Brian. Yes. The first word is Mosif. Mosif. Mm-hmm. Uh, and and they're a company that does what? Uh, most of API analytics helps forward-thinking B2B companies like Radar, Tomorrow, IO, UPS, and Deloitte understand their customer API usage and deliver great API products. Uh, 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 could, uh, could you use it in a sentence? Yes. <clears throat> Fuck! My <laughs> Mosif stock is down. Okay. Um, I, 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 oh, oh uh, uh, when were they founded? They were founded. I don't have that. That's not one of the four things that we. That's not. That's one what of I would like to know. Uh, I'm just saying. You know what? I would like to imagine they, they were founded. They have 11 to 50 uh, employees. Uh, close enough. Uh, it looks like uh, uh, the past couple of years. They're only a few years old. Yep. Uh, I'll keep it simple. Mosif. M O S E F. M O S E F R. Brett, you're our host. Is that correct or incorrect? Brian, you are wrong. God damn it. Yeah. It's like the moment he's happy, I know to be sad. That is yeah. incorrect. Justin, for the he steel. He feeds off your, uh, off your misery. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. Well, he's eating it right now. Yum, I, yum, yes. that, yeah, he's, he's, he's putting his fingers in his mouth so he no. savors all of it. <laughs> yum, no, not, yum. Yeah, not all, too many fingers. Okay. Save too some much. fingers yeah. for later rounds. Yeah, save some save some. I complain, fingers. but we already have a mature tag. I got into it. <laughs> Explicit. <laughs> uh, Justin, you, you got a chance to steal here. Mosif. Let's go. Oh, oh, Mosif. Oh, M-O-S-I-F. Right, that answer is? 
Justin. Oh, he's smiling. He's I smiling. Know, fucked. Your answer is wrong. Oh, no. Incorrect. We were looking for M O E S I F. Mosef. I, okay. All right. Uh, like, like, like a flaming Mosef. <laughs> the secret ingredient is a uh, purple drink. Yeah, it's purple drink. It, yeah, it's the lion. It's that lion. <laughs> it's that before. lion's despair <laughs> expressed from his anal glands. Exactly. <laughs> All right, we'll go down to the next one here, Brett. Uh, the next company name is Dibs. Dibs. We're gonna start with Justin on this one. Dibs. Uh, okay. Hey. Uh, 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 what does Dibs do? Dibs is a uh, a dibs reduces the friction out of bidding, buying, and selling products and services in the construction marketplace. Where is dibs located? It's uh, in Newport, Rhode Island. Oh Jesus Christ! Mm -hmm. The Isle of Rhode. Ah, Good the honest there. Isle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Rhode Island, the the most. Uh, the least corrupt island yep. that is also a state. They have good pizza there, too. I they understand. do. And that certainly isn't a commentary on the mob president. <laughs> <laughs> That's their state motto. We have great pizza, and this isn't a commentary on our mob on our president. Mob. Hey, I gotta build a condo here. How do I decide on a contractor? Have a slice of pizza, and then pay us half the money. <laughs> Welcome to Rhode Island. Okay, but I don't have to pay for the pizza, do I? <laughs> yeah, you do. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's how, it's the pizza tax. Look at this. Well, uh, 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 look at uh, this guy. Baba La Boo. <laughs> Baba La Boo. <laughs> <laughs> I had too much money. What did I do? I called dibs. <laughs> Justin, we're looking for dibs here. Uh, can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> Fuck! Dibs is down. Ah, dibs is down. <laughs> All right, dibs. D Y B S. Justin, your answer of D Y B S is wrong. Incorrect. Look, man, if there's one thing you gotta know if you're gonna run a corrupt institution, and that's right, I'm saying it as a funny joke and a parody. So don't sue me, Dibs. <laughs> is that there has to be some wastage in there, some redundancy? It's gotta be D I double B S. Double BS. Double the BS. That's dibs. That's a dibs guarantee. Stromboli. Brian. Yeah, You're lasagna. Absolutely right. Yeah. That's right. D I B B S. D I B B S. Perfect. That's a point for Brian. Congrats, Brian. Woo. And we're going to start with you on our next word. Uh, uh, let's do the next one. All right. Uh, the next one. Wait, before we get off the Italian jokes. Uh, uh, <laughs> My one, guy. One time, one time, me and my buddy Harry were were driving around, and we were we kept trying to think of fake because Sopranos was really big at the time, like yeah. fake Italian slurs that like <laughs> they would like oh use. Uh, uh, and the one that we liked the best was like, uh, 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 he was out all night with this little cantaletta. <laughs> What? What? Uh, yeah. what, what is the word that that's based on? Sorry, what is the other <laughs> word that that's based on? <laughs> no, it's not nonsense. It's, okay. Uh, it's uh, Italian uh, nonsense. I was thinking like a, like a, yeah, he was a real floppy linguini, if you know what I mean. No, no, no. Right. This is all like, because they would like mix in like like an Italian word amongst like, so we were doing nonsense Italian words. So it was like, uh, it was like, a, uh, 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 it was a real... Friend of Mussolini, if you know what I mean. Yeah, but yeah, do <laughs> that. But imagine, all right. So okay, <laughs> uh, that's the English translation. Okay. <laughs> now say that in nonsense Italian. Okay, um, uh, it's a me, Mario. <laughs> Jeez, all right. Uh, okay. Brad, what's our next word here in the start of Our next time? word is finesse. We're gonna start with Brian on this one. Finesse. Finesse. Uh. Uh, what do they do? They are a vertically integrated fashion house, leveraging AI on big data and community feedback to predict trends, forecast demands, and optimize distribution. Um, mm. finesse. So, given that it's fashion, I'm picturing that it needs to be a fashionable spelling. Because if, if 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 it was not about fashion, it would be like fine dash dash s. Hello, beep bop. It is me, Silicon Bot. Beep morp. 
you how many employees there would be 11 to 50 no oh. mm, it's kind of small yeah Smaller brand. tight fashion tight Wait. finesse small agile <laughs> finesse <laughs> Compounded <laughs> finesse, <laughs> um, dense every frame. Finesse. <laughs> Fuck you, Rick Berman. Uh, I'll, I'll do P H I N E S S. P H I N E S S. Oh, Brussel Perius. Much Perry. like uh, Phineas, you would think. Yeah, uh, yeah, like that. Yeah, finesse. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, is it wrong? Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. 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 You know, he's like intentionally not smiling. He's drawing it out. So now he's looking down. down. He's like, he's like, now he's like a I know poker what the game player. Is. Yeah. I know what the game is now, so yeah. guess what? <laughs> uh, all right, but Justin, we're going to go to you for the steel finesse. Yes. Finesse. Finesse. F-Y-N-E-S-S finesse. No E at the end. Very good. Also wrong. Yeah. You're wrong. Incorrect. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. A finesse is spelled F I N E double S E finesse. Oh, wait. So just, you just spelled just it like the word regular finesse. thing. Yeah. Yep, they yeah. Just spelled it correctly. You know what's yeah. funny is is I was thinking like, oh, how do I get real close to the actual word? Because a fashion brand would want to have the real word. But there's no way yeah. it can be the real word. And then I was wrong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Me too. Uh, we now have I regret giving that haircut to that lion. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Me too. We should have never done that in China. Nope. That's a bad thing for us to do. Remember in when China. the phone rang and it was kind of. Remember online? when it was Chairman G? Remember when Chairman G yeah. called, called me at the end of my walk, <laughs> <laughs> and, and and he was like, was, like, like, and he's like, uh, uh. Uh, pip pip chaps. Uh, 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 this is my real voice. I only <laughs> show it to my true friends. Uh, anyway, blokes, uh, I need you to get over here uh, with a whip and a pop. I do and, remember uh, that. Uh, 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 I'll, I'll be sending my supersonic jet that nobody knows about. <laughs> sure. Not even Maverick. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I remember I was hiding in the bushes, which yeah. is why I remember this. And I jumped out. And I said, "Hey, wait a minute, Mister. Uh, what do you expect us to do when we get to China?" And he uh, he had like a euphemism that he explained it as. Yeah, like, oh well, uh, boys, I, I'd like you to uh, uh, take a zip zip on an old <laughs> kitty. <laughs> <laughs> So, so you want us to fuck your wife, eh? Uh, uh, and he goes, uh, uh, well, well, if we have enough time, <laughs> and then uh, and there wasn't actually even a plane. Uh, uh, a a panel <laughs> fell out under both of us, and we literally and we fell, fell through the, the Earth's core yeah. uh, uh, to China, which is exactly <laughs> equidistant from Austin. Don't look it up. They, they, and, they, <laughs> it was it was pretty cool because they had like two really really well built guys ready to catch us, and yeah. it's like it was a surprise to us. But then suddenly we were we were both like feeling the warm embrace, enveloped of, with some real hunks, <laughs> and 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 next thing you know, we're we're there and. Uh, 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 she didn't even show up. He just left a note that said, uh, shave this dumb fucking lion, assholes. Uh, uh, and then we had to catch a commercial flight back to Austin. Yeah. But he paid us in dollars. He did. Five dollars. Confederate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brett, what's our next word? <laughs> True tale. Uh, True tale. Uh, next. And we're going to start with Brian on this one. Hello, Brian. Hey, yes. Brian, their next word is Clear now. Clear now. Clear now. Clear now. No spaces, remember. That was told us, told to us before. Uh clear now. Clear now. Um I, uh, what do they do? They are an international logistics shared economy platform. Okay. Clear now. S C I E N T O L O G Y. Clear now. Wow. <laughs> you missed it by one letter. <laughs> you missed it by one letter. It's not the one you would think. Though. No. All right, Justin, clear now. Uh, where is it based? Canada. Is that the closest you fucking got? That's yes, what that's I got, bro. Got. You don't know Toronto, Winnipeg. No, another city with. It'd be a very I different company. I would give company. you more if I had more. Yeah, Regina. 
It might always. be Regina. It might be it's Regina. It's always Regina. Is it Quebec? Regina? The question, the answer to that is, it's always Regina. It's always Regina. Yeah. Huh? Uh, 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 can you use it in a sentence? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm so glad I'm here in Regina. Because <laughs> now I can go to Clear Now oh, <laughs> and make all my money. Oh, fuck. <laughs> were you being serious or were you just funning when you said that he was one letter up? <laughs> Leave it up to you, my guy. You can't do that. Yes, I can. You can't do Dude, that at a obviously fucking spelling there were, no, bee? there were no rules, bro. All right, first of all, nothing about this smells like a spelling bee. <laughs> <laughs> it's called the startup spelling bee. I no, I know. Name. But you don't argue with the judge. The <laughs> judge doesn't give you egregious amounts of fucks in this. In the this word topic. isn't changing. It's clear now. <laughs> clear now. Clear now. You can clear just now. say no. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. I also recognize the game here. So, <laughs> what game are you playing? He's playing my side own, bro. He's doing like my own, game. bro. He's playing mess with the, these thetans. Get them all. You're playing up. messing with the thetans. That's you. <laughs> Could it be Thetan? Did you see that meme with Tom Cruise and Kelly McGillis? Uh, oh, I heard about it. I did not see it. Oh, Basically, no. like he looks unchanged. She is uh, changed. aged changed. gracefully. Changed. Yeah. Changed. Yeah. Just, changed. That's the right We're gonna way. leave yeah. it at change. Okay. We're gonna leave it at change. Yeah. Does it take your breath away? Uh, uh, Bryce, can you look it up while I guess this name? Okay. What is it again? Clear now. Clear now. Clear now. They're in Canada. <laughs> Just helping. So it's slightly more or less expensive to spend depending on the exchange rate. Depends it's, on the week. It's either more passive aggressive or more polite, depending on how you squint. Mm, okay. Clear now. K L E E R <laughs> N O A W. Clear now. Okay. <laughs> I love everything that you just said right now. <laughs> and you literally, unlike Brian, you literally <laughs> missed it by two letters. Oh, you were no! very close. What? <laughs> yeah. We were looking for K L E A R N O W. You are so close. Oh, <laughs> that's best. not going to do it. The best. All right. Our score is one to zero. Brian's got a point. Justin's got zero. Nice. Uh, let's go down to the next one, Brett. All right. Uh, who, who, who's next? Uh, uh, we're going to start with Justin on this one. Justin. Yeah. Justin, look at me. Don't, you don't have to. That's not in the rules. You don't have oh, to. I'm going to do it. I'm yep. going to do I'm it. I'm going to look at you and make sure you're safe. The word is blend. What does blend do? Blend. Let me scroll <laughs> over. Uh, blend. Oh, wait. Hold on, sorry. Uh, blend processes nearly two billion dollars in loans, <laughs> loans daily. daily. Yep, that's right. Where are they based? They are based in New York City. Hey, hey, the fuck? So I, I'm sorry. They're, they're businesses. They do deals. They they do crimes. No, they're, they're, I mean they're they're, they're 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 what they call fintech. They process the fintech. Loan. Okay, yep. they move the money around. Yep. Yeah. Okay. How many uh, how many employees? One thousand. To 5000 That's small for a fintech company. Uh, also, if they're going to process my payments, uh, it seems like your they would loans, know. Your loan. Even more important, they your would loans, know yeah. whether they want that. There's a lot of between one and five. Well, no, that's Angel is guessing. Yeah. They have to categorize. Yeah. It. Yeah. Okay. So they don't between know. that number. Are um, they walking here? <laughs> <laughs> they are definitely walking here. <laughs> Uh, I don't know why that's so funny. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, I, I think because because that bit was actually totally Im improvised and it was genuine rage and it became an iconic moment. And like I don't even know what movie that's from, but everybody knows is it, it. Dog Day Afternoon. Mm -hmm. Is it? No, no. Is it from uh, Boogie Nights? No. Oh, oh my God. I mean, it's from, where is I'm walking guess. here from? No, it's it's from, it's from uh, the, it, cause it's, it's Pacino, it's, isn't it's, it? it? No, it's, I thought it was Taxi the, Driver. Yeah. No. Wait. What oh. Oh. It's the Midnight Niro. Cowboy. Oh, it's Midnight Taxi Midnight Driver. Cowboy. Yeah. It was 
People are saying it's Taxi Dream. No, it's no, definitely not. It's Midnight Cow. I'm pretty sure it's Midnight Club. It's, it's Midnight, Midnight uh, Club. I think it's, it's Midnight Club. Club. Midnight, Midnight Club. Midnight Club. Cowboy. I think John it's. Boy. I think it's. I think it's. I think it's that lion with the weird haircut. I think it's a permission to share to the Midnight Society. Yes, that's right. It's a dead poet. All right, there we go. Oh my goodness. 1986. 2018. That's okay. I didn't see that. That's It's fucked up. Yep. So maybe maybe somebody, that scene wasn't as realistic as I thought it was. Somebody's got too many thetans. <laughs> somebody was in the volcano. Somebody's been time. actively expelling them. We're looking for right. blend for now. Yeah, blend. blend. So anyway, blend. blend. Uh, fintech, huh? Yep. B L Y N D blend. Huh. You know what, Justin? You're adorable. Yep. And you're wrong. Uh, Loser. How how close was he? Loser. I'm not gonna but that's say. That's not no. Okay, I, I, he can't blame a cat. You try. Fuck you. Pay me. That's what I. That's what. That's right. how close. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. Uh, blend. 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 But that's my favorite Pearl Jam song. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> We're all blurred. The world is a bland pyre. <laughs> uh, uh, None uh, of these songs are actual pearl jam. Songs. Not even trying. <laughs> they they blurred <laughs> with the fintech launching. Yeah, Smoking blend today. <laughs> One thousand to five thousand. Oh, blend. New York employee. <laughs> Because I was processing two million payments and I was walking on the line. Uh, Should have changed that fucking lock. <laughs> Should have thrown away. Wait, no, eight. that's. <laughs> oh, now you. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's 8 L E N D. 8 L E N D. Yes. 8 L E N D. I yes. wish it was that. <laughs> Incorrect. Incorrect. Oh. oh, you bastard. We were you looking bastard. for B L E N D. Yeah, they always. That's how they never, get you. I, mean, I never thought, thought it was obvious. Would it never th- yeah, just spell it the right way. Spell it normal. All right, yeah. we're going to do two more here. So penultimate one here. It's still zero to one. One to zero. Brian's got a point. Yep. Uh, all right, Brett. Penultimate round. So the next one, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay. It's uh, Zooks. Start with uh, Brian I think this, on this one, one is to me. Uh, Zooks, uh, what do they do? They are a... Uh, Zooks is a developing... The world's first ground-up, fully autonomous vehicle fleet and the supporting ecosystem required to bring this technology uh, to market. Okay, I would want to spell it X-O-O-X, but you didn't seem to have any trouble with the pronunciation. That tells me that it's probably very phonetic. I'll just go Z-O-O-K-S. Zooks! What are you, some kind of fucking mook? Come on, no, that's not right. Oh, uh, that was rude to the mooks. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, where is Zooks based? Zooks is based in Menlo Park. Oh, I was hoping it was in Zooks, yo. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, David. Well, I thought that was funny. What is it again? What is it? Like, like bringing the, the fucking bullshit flippity flop to market? <laughs> They, they, they're the first fully autonomous yeah. autonomous yeah. vehicles. Yeah. 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 Bringing the first I'm... fully autonomous <laughs> car and plane related technology to market. There's nothing we can't do. <laughs> now we're in Zooks Yard. And then somewhere in there is bacon pancakes. Make it bacon <laughs> yeah. pancakes. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Make it pay. What I like is you had to go to the Zoo York to go make that joke. <laughs> you yeah. had to go travel a long way. Zooks. Zooks. Zooks is what we're looking for. Z O O K S. Zooks. Uh, I think you, were you wrong, just said just the like exact Brian was same wrong. thing that I said. Oh, sorry. I, wait. I, then uh, 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 just as wrong as Brian. Z O O X. I, I thought I was thinking wait, of the wait, one. Wait, 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 the episode. <laughs> just as wrong as Brian. <laughs> you made and we executed. Z O O X. Z O O X. Don't don't. Don't answer that, Proctor. We executed an entire answer already. <laughs> you are just as wrong as No, Proctor. I know. Yes. So my new answer is you D-O-O-X. There's not a new answer. <laughs> what do you mean? Do you know that, why? That, do you, why? Do, do you know why? Why? 
That's exactly <laughs> correct. That's exactly right. <laughs> there we go. We were looking for Z O O X. That's no points. No. Whoa! Anybody. Fuck you! Fuck no. you! You spelled it wrong the first I, I time. I was thinking in my head, okay. but I was gonna say, and then I mixed it up with what Brian had already said. <laughs> that makes you so just wait, as wrong. Like, you're like it the guy from Ecuador who scores a goal on his own team, and is like, "Wait, I was thinking of the other goal. <laughs> let me let me kick it the other way." <laughs> <laughs> Show fucking sucks. <laughs> All right, it is our last round. The score is a whopping one to zero. Brian is still leading. I can't the believe game. you didn't give me that one. That's <laughs> bullshit. I'm sorry I didn't give it to you That's on your bullshit. second fucking. Your guess. bullshit. <laughs> Zooks is bullshit. <laughs> Fucking like, smash bitch. Smash tech cut, is bullshit. Smash cut to tomorrow. Just as on the phone with Bryce. Like, uh huh, huh. Listen, I just need 10,000 more votes. <laughs> I'm just saying. That's no, we just like, got to get this thing in play. He's lucky it's fucking Pride Month. Like. <laughs> Not here in Texas, though. He's lucky, no. man. This shit fucking. Uh, all right, it's this would be a lot harsher. <laughs> it's never a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for our last round. This is worth four points. So it's still anybody's game. Bre uh, Brett, please, our last word there. It's uh, the next one on the list there yep, for you. Yep, yep. It is. The word is Trulio. Trulio. And because uh, Justin is behind, he is going to get first crack at it. Justin, yep. for the game Trulio. Where is Trulio located? <laughs> Why, Trulio is located in Vancouver. <laughs> hey, hey I'm in a fucking well, why did you say it that know. way? I don't hey, know. Hey, we're in fucking Vancouver. <laughs> I was I'm thinking of the bagels. That's I'm, what I was thinking. <laughs> I'm skiing here. Oh. <laughs> oh, the fucking moose and the mounties. Me and my broad are going to go see the Canucks. Ah. We're in fucking Vancouver. We'll settle this on the ice. I banged this bitch in fucking Whistler. Hickory hey, Dickory you Vancouver. Don't you don't know. Yeah. I don't. Trulio. How many employees? Uh, either 201 or 500. Tr and what do they do? They, what do uh, all these 201 well, to infinity employees do? They told me that we've built the world's leading identity verification platform, enabling instant verification of five a billion people. I'm uh, sorry, five billion? Billion people. That's most of the people. Right. Yeah. There's two billion. That's it's just... literally everybody but the bottom billion. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely right. Truly O. Trulio. Trulio. For the win. Yeah. <clears throat> Neil on this one exactly. Uh okay. Right. Maybe uh try T to R U L I O Trulio. Justin, that answer is wrong. Loser. <laughs> Incorrect. Fuck. Oh, Ryan. Wait, Ford wait. Do you want to answer again just to be sure? Because <laughs> I'll answer. I'll answer. Okay. For the game, T R Fuck you. U L I O Trulio. <laughs> okay. Uh, Brett, how did Brian's identical answer do? You know. What's weird is we just went into a multiverse, <laughs> and suddenly you're still wrong. You're oh, still wrong. but I was thinking of the right answer. Loser. Can I get credit? Loser. No. Oh. What is so crazy? <laughs> Brett, can you spell Trulio for me, please? I would love to spell this word if I knew how to spell. No. <laughs> uh, the word is Trulio. Yep. T-R-U-L-I-O. Oh. Two O's! <laughs> That's truly no, I, And I just want to... I, I gave That's you the hint. You. That's I truly gave, you. I gave That's you That's not truly you. That's no. truly you. Oh. I gave you the hint. I said truly you. Bullshit. I totally No, that's truly you. 
you know somebody what? look it up. Uh, look up somebody point. saying this shit that online. Point for that look up, like look up somebody saying that shit online. Uh, I'm taking this shit to the Supreme Court. All right. Oh, really? Yeah. Hey, okay. as long as he's not arguing. I'll with tell me, you I what, I don't know if you've seen the news. They're fucking wild right now. <laughs> I know. They don't give a fuck. <laughs> like they are doing fucking whatever you know what? they Actually, please. Oh, uh, they're always leaking stuff to us. Why don't we leak some stuff to them? Somebody yeah. leaked this to the <laughs> Supreme yeah, Court. Get this shit I dare to Much get better this shit for both of <laughs> Who's got Alito's DMs? <laughs> identity is the sum of all we do, all we say, all we experience. And identity is what we believe in. Identity should be borderless. I'll say it. What? Identity should be secure. Oh, and identity what? should be digital. <laughs> Available. Digital? Oh, they don't say it. Say ah! it. Truly Lou. <laughs> Ugh, all right. Boodle deedle truly you. I love that there's all these pictures. It's like, we're an idea. We're a brand. We're you I know, stock images. There's That's things. True. We got that B-roll. All right, with a startup spelling bee behind us with one point in the win, it's Brian Bradley. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It shines too bright. Oh, there we go. You know what? It would be an honor for me to take out the garbage. <laughs> For fuck Darren, you. fuck you. No, I'm serious. Like, like, let I already me... did it. I did it last oh, night. Fuck, fuck. If it already hadn't been done, done, like, I would have, I would have, I would drive out there and do it. Just already mm. done. All right. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you for listening. If you have an idea for a game, a uh, question, a comment, an email, a high thought, whatever, please email it to us. Greatnightpod at gmail.com or check the show notes wherever you are reading or watching or reading those show notes. Thank you. Oh. Uh, 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 two pieces of business. Uh, one quick one, and then one that we really want to. Uh, uh, get into because it is uh, super awesome and important. Uh, Bryce, in the Discord, mm. in the oh. fan base <laughs> section, <laughs> uh, uh, do we have a, 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 a tolerant uh, a fan base, a, a fan base of allies, or do we have a fan base of homophobes? Uh, well, <laughs> well. It, it, it spe please only speak to the evidence because I believe at issue is the fact that you've made a request. I made a request because right. we we had the bit last week yep. about uh, uh, the alpha gays yep. of, of the apex, of apex. The, apex the apex gays the, the apex gays alpha, alpha gays. gays is an entirely different <laughs> yeah, thing <laughs> we could make a whole lot of Which money also, on a different think, thing wait that. I think I asked them did I ask them to make apex or alpha I, I think, think I you did say alpha, alpha not oh, apex no. so maybe they're well, not maybe, as homophobic maybe, maybe they're they're allies <laughs> maybe they're because they're like we're gonna do you the they're favor confused. of not yeah. doing what you oh, just shit. asked for <laughs> yeah okay so uh, uh, Bryce can you write in the discord <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sorry, uh, LOL. All, all this but Apex. Uh, <laughs> uh, dictated but not read. <laughs> Justin R. Young. Yeah. Uh, 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 so uh, in, all, in all seriousness, what we would like to do, I had this idea today that uh, we could do a shirt that I'll sell on the PX3 uh, you uh, did store. Put alpha. <laughs> I did put Alpha. By the way, fucking Bryce didn't correct me when I texted him. Well, I mean, well, look, <laughs> uh, when you're both, why would you? <laughs> Uh, uh, so what also, we'd like to do it. is a, a, uh, uh, just hashtag apex in, in the pride flag, uh, uh, in the font with the pride flag yeah. and, uh, we will sell that. And then, uh, all the money will go to, uh, what was it? The human rights council or, uh, 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 I, I like the Trevor project or Trevor project. Yeah. You gave me those two. Yeah. So, uh, we will, we will figure out uh, as we go, but all the proceeds will go to that. So keep an eye on uh, all of our social media, because hopefully that will happen within right, the next now, seven uh, days. Uh, uh, Justin, um, since we just now found out live on our comedy show that you said Alpha <laughs> and not Apex, what are you going to do with all of the designs that I assume some rapscallions will make? I mean, clearly, I didn't scroll down to all of the Alpha designs, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 I was, yeah, yeah. I so just... Nobody did shit, but also nobody corrected me on, oh, wait, wasn't it Apex? <laughs> Everyone just said nothing. <laughs> The entire fucking time. You were the one who had the idea. You, you should have told had the it story. Right. Also, 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 for the record, <laughs> what record. part of this fucking operation <laughs> makes you think that I'm the detail oriented one? <laughs> you pitched it. You're you definitely the one <laughs> whose first words in the door, you kicked in the door, you're like, Bunch of fucking homophobes. They're all homophobes. That's exactly right. <laughs> we're in the middle of the meeting. We're talking about a completely other topic in the middle of it. Justin goes, She's got a bunch of homophobes in Discord. <laughs> and we're like, and I'm like, no, we're in the middle of another <laughs> discussion. You can't drop that right now. <laughs> so we love you. I was you looking all. for it. <laughs> I was looking for it. 
Anyway, we want to do that. But also, there's another thing that we are definitely doing on July 4th weekend. Uh, yeah, the uh, weekend right before uh, July 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. We are going to be performing at uh, I, uh, First Con in a long time. Mm -hmm. We're going to be at Rooster Teeth Expo, RTX, right here in Austin, Texas. Yep. Well, the first time we're going to be doing, uh, like, the, the show. I mean, we, we thought our first live show would be at Scoop Fest, but Scoop Fest wound up becoming more folding of a, us in yeah folding us into to the mikey quiz and everything and so it was like it wound up being how, how do we do episode. on that it's it's oh i don't know maybe fucking yet another win oh man wow but but it must have been like a weak win or not no, like a powerful win not anything that would like you know cause people win. to create fan art of just how much we crushed hold them on, wait. hold on hold on what? Hold on. Oh, are we getting a Trulio? Hold oh, on. Trulio. Do you feel that Trulio is an inclusive culture? Trulio! Oh! Stop the steal! <laughs> Stop the yeah. steal! Game's Stop already called. Game's already called. Stop the steal! Yeah. Just as a reminder, you lost throw. one to zero. Neither of you got it right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> also, wait a minute. What is this? Is this also proving me right that I'm allowed to drink on the street? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All of Jesus these shady Christ. areas like, is in You lost at the game, but you won at everything else. <laughs> Wait a minute. Like, did everybody also Berenstein Bears that I said Alpha last week instead of Apex? <laughs> ah! And you know what? I've changed my mind. Top of Gun was great. Ah! <laughs> I'm having a stroke. <laughs> 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 yeah, I don't know how we're going to top that, but but we do need to know the code for the for, well, no, for no, RTX. No, 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 yeah. Actually, I do want to get context to this because I am uh, uh, not. I've only moved to Austin in the last year. Uh, Rooster Teeth and RTX specifically as a con, yep, is a big fucking deal. A uh, huge deal. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, you remember how Penny Arcade Expo packs uh, just got bigger and then they started splitting uh, into different coasts and it started competing with the likes of Dragon Con and all this yep. stuff? Yep. Uh, uh, the uh, Up until the pandemic, and we kind of have to do this weird reset on everything. Yes. Because pandemic hits, but in 2019, their attendance was, I believe, over 50,000, which is Dragon Con level that is of gigantic. Con experience. Uh, massive. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dra Dragon Con is like uh, 60 or 70. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That's why I said like. Yeah. It's and also, it's pronounced truly you. <laughs> yeah. Also, the haircut <laughs> is dope, what? and I'm going to rock it tomorrow. But, but oh, also, like, like, Dragon Con is spread out in a lot of nooks and crannies. Like, 50,000 people in, in one open kind of convention center area yep. is, is that, that's a scene. Well, and, and Brett, uh, you've been around long enough. You probably remember when uh, South by Southwest was, like, 50,000 people oh, at yeah. a time. Yeah. And, oh, yeah. and so, uh, RTX, big, big deal. We've got uh, two stage slots. Uh, one of them is going to be magic-themed. The other will be us doing great night uh there'll be a a, a booth um uh what is the code that we need to give uh that we get a little discount uh, for that's everyone? right if you use uh bit dot if you go to bit.ly slash great night rtx that's capital g capital n capital rtx we'll also have it in the show notes bit.ly slash great night rtx i think you get a little bit of a discount and we get a little bit of a cut off of it so uh yeah you know i out. mostly heard the first part of what you said say the first part again but maybe mumble the second part uh, well i think that if you go to that link you get, I think you get a little bit of a discount. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So bit.ly slash capital G great, uh, capital N night, and capital R T N X. For uh, is, Rooster Teeth Expo. Uh, is this at the Austin Convention Center? It is. It is, it is, is going to be a big, big deal. Uh, we don't quite know the where we are in the schedule. They do not have the schedule all the way. No, they are, they are like, although, They're still can we say on. a day? I mean, we, uh, we, 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 we gave them a, a day. Uh, we don't yeah. know whether we We were asked which day we would prefer, yeah. and we said we would prefer Saturday. So yeah, <clears throat> uh, that is I, what uh, we prefer. We There is no confirmation on when we're going to do it, but or, or also whether or not we're going to do both on the same day. Also, or, keep in mind, uh, you guys know how this game is played. Uh, if we crush this the way we crushed, like a, a Dragon Con and so on, it could be the, a year over year over year extravaganza, and that would be And I think black. it would make a lot of sense since we live here. Uh, yes, it would, it would, it would also be, cost a lot less for us. I could take the train. <laughs> and then they everybody can go to the I feel like uh, uh, Rooster Teeth is such an awesome organization, and to be at RTX as guests is going to be fucking great. I can't wait to see everybody. Yeah. 
Uh, uh, Kuan Lukes wants to know if there's any way to not get a discount but still give you money. No, you must take the discount. Go to yeah. Patreon, Kuhan. Go to Patreon, <laughs> damn it. Do it. Uh, I think it's funny that I've auditioned for Rooster Teeth so many times, and now I'm going to be at their convention. Uh, okay, that negativity, I'm going to yeah. need you to no, bottle it up. No, that's not negative. It's, no, it wasn't great. negative. I'm, that was a totally not negative no, uh, a it was comment not. on being rejected from auditions. A famously unemotional and right. non-scarring event. I never get it. I want you to Everybody, everybody understands that when, just, you, when, you, when you audition, it's a totally non-emotional, no. unconnected situation where you feel no rejection at None. all. Just picture all of that tangled mess of emotions, and all of a sudden... Out of a hole in the ground pop two people from Austin who get caught by muscular Chinese men who walk over to you with shears. So they trim that tangled old mess of emotions. That's right. Yeah. a gorgeous I feel pop. good about it. A yeah, good mm -hmm. Karen cut. And then <laughs> there, is there, I am. Go. There, I am. there you are. That's me right there. That's, that's you now. That's me now. That's the face you make uh, as you start your new job at Truly Lou. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> dude, Brett, what did we learn today? What did we learn? We've learned, we've learned that, uh, that I need to write faster oh, yeah. in between things. I've learned oh, that, uh, it's our audience is it's very, uh, very forgiving. <laughs> I mean, considering that the pre show we were talking about massages given by great whites with yes. Yes. I've yeah, learned, yeah. I've learned that Brian has a weird kink about toothless great white sharks giving you full just, body I'm massages. I'm just curious. I'm asking the real question. I've, I've learned that, uh, that who's the uh, alpha gay? <laughs> I guess that one's not me. <laughs> Awards Could've come help later. me on text, Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> Could've helped me. I didn't notice either. I'm on your side. I didn't notice either. Good. Yep. Thank Just Christ. My oh my God. <laughs> Somebody oh. in the Discord could help me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good idea. If they weren't so homophobic. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> but he, he kept saying homophones. <laughs> yeah. So homophones. There we go. Oh, all right. Look, we love you guys. We'll see you at Rooster Teeth. Uh, shout out, you crazy diamond. It's been a great night. Yeah. yeah. Me alive. Help me survive No, there's never been a greater night A single bed, a later night A pause, the masturbation night A let's get drunk and laugh tonight There's never been a greater, great night Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs>